Catherine Eisman, our LA Breakfast reporter, joins us now. Catherine, say it isn't so. I wish I could say it isn't so, but it is so. In fact, when you think of cockroaches, spiders, any kind of creepy crawly that you want the exterminator to get rid of, well, they're leaving the house and they're ending up on menus across the country because bugs are the latest it food. And it's not just dinner menus, it's even your favourite desserts. Like, for example, cicada ice cream. Ooh. Yes, we've heard of some foul, foul <laughs> flavours, but this one is, this came from Missouri, which is of, often overrun with cicadas. And so there was this little, small kind of homemade ice cream store called Sparky's. They sent their staff out and said, collect the cicadas in your backyard, bring them in, we're going to pull the wings off, we're going to cook them up, we're going to put them in an ice cream. And guess what? Ooh. They sold out in one day. Wow, that's extraordinary. Um, I think you'd have to blind taste test me to, to eat um, a cicada ice cream. Now, insect sushi. I love sushi. I don't mind eating raw things, but insect sushi? I know. I think a lot of, you know, the countries just got used to the idea of eating raw fish. But that is, like, so 2011 <gasps> because it's all about, yes, eating things like spiders, like caterpillars on sushi. In fact, it's, it started in Japan as like an unusual food craze. It's all Now it's arrived in LA, which is famous for its sushi. And it's on little steam beds of rice. And there's a crunchy texture when you bite into that spider that you will never forget. And it's very high in protein. In fact, scientists have been oh. asking people to embrace the insect trend because it's actually less harmful for the environment than livestock. But you couldn't pay me enough to eat sushi spiders. Well, we're not going to pay you, but we're going to make you eat something else disgusting. You can't tell us all about it and talk about the crunchy texture without giving us your first hand experience. Please, what have you got there and what are you going to try? Okay. Kath, when I pitched this story, I was like, why did I pick an insect story <laughs> trend? It's like so dumb. I could have done like a new nail polish You were having trend, a blonde anyway. moment. <laughs> I was. It was a long blonde moment. I will regret forever. All right. Well, there is gourmet bugs showing up in restaurants here in LA. There's a fabulous restaurant called... Si um, Called, sorry, there's a fabulous restaurant here called Typhoon, which is in Santa Monica, and they kindly prepared a scorpion dish for me, which is popular in Singapore. Wow. This is a scorpion right here on top of cucumber, and I'm about to bite into it. Do you it. You ready for this? Do it. You are so right. Bear Grylls. This is, this is so disgusting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw up on okay. national television. Right. Everyone's eating their breakfast. Okay. Hey, she looks all right. I love a she woman eating scorpions. She I can't. love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> can, uh, can you taste it or is it just all cucumber? You know what? You can taste the crunchiness in there. Yeah. That is not the cucumber. You can... This dish here is... Um, these are um, Singaporean dishes. Stir-fried crickets. Yep. I'm going to eat a cricket by itself. Are you Good ready? You. you are so brave. Okay. You're beautiful and this brave. Is, I think I'm more brave and beautiful. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> that was that was that was actually really nice. Was it? Bit of soy flavored cricket. It's not bad. It is not bad. I can't believe I did it. And it comes with garlic, and it's got a crunchiness to it and a flavour that is repeating in my mouth as Listen I speak. Listen to you go. <laughs> You're the new insect connoisseur. Okay, can we take a change of pace now? Um, while you digest, while while you digest your insects, meality. Now tell me about this. This is for people who are going out shopping and they have a general distaste for change rooms. You can actually get a machine that takes your measurements and directs you into shops to say this would work for you. Absolutely. Well, don't we all hate going into dressing rooms, taking our clothes off and those unflattering lights? It's, and every clothing uh, designer seems to have a different size that suits you. Well, Meality is it's in kiosks around the country. There are 37 that they're planning to roll out 300. And basically, they use radio waves, like, um, but they're only uh, one thousandth of the um, strength of a cell phone radio wave to send 169 um, antenna signals into your body to bounce off the water in your flesh to map out the exact body shape you have and the exact measurement you have. So they have literally 200,000 points on your body that they can measure. So you get your exact measurements, you know whether you're a pear shape but in exact kind of detail. And then they take it one step further is they direct you to the stores in that mall that sell clothes that are perfect for your body type and tell you exactly what pieces will suit you and what size you need to buy so you never have to go into a change room ever again. Yeah, look, it doesn't, sound, it doesn't sound like a bad idea for people who don't like to, to shop, but I just thought I'd let you know you've got a bit of um, cricket in your...
tooth. <laughs> I never thought someone would ever tell me that on television. <laughs> Good on you. You've been a really great sport. But you did pitch the idea, remember. Catherine Eisman, thank you so much. Thank you. I won't talk, but thank you. I'll never I do can, that again. I can honestly say I was completely transfixed during that interview. You love um, Catherine. When she was biting into that thing, that was fantastic television. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Very I'm right. right, Herman. On camera three, aren't I? <laughs> Which means we need a break. Fantastic. So Paul can gather himself. Stay with us. <laughs>